I said it's hard for me to love I really thought that you would be the one Maybe it's hard for me to love Cause you told me you changed but I did not see one What is going on everybody? It is the Honorable Judge Kayla Beasley here Checking out a video Now this is gonna be a fun video to check out this is by uh, Kicking It With Ross. Kicking It With Ross. Uh, I have watched Ross's videos for a very long time. I've watched In The Clutch's videos for a very, very long time. Um, th these are the guys that I go to right here. If I'm feeling down, if I'm going through some stuff, or if I'm just having a good day, uh, if I just need something to put on, if I need some entertainment, if I get something to eat and I need something to you know have on the TV while I'm eating, it's these guys right here. So I was uh, kind of in and out of their live broadcast that they were doing of Monday Night Raw. And I was uh, filming some of my own content there at the end in Seth Rollins versus Jinder Mahal. Title match of the year. <coughs> my voice. Title match of the year. So I want to see what Ross's opinion is here. Title is Jinder was finally hindered. And uh, Ross, I hope if you do see this, I hope you're feeling better. I know at some points in the stream you weren't feeling too well, so I do hope that you're feeling better. Uh, I appreciate um, you looking out for me. I appreciate you guys giving me the shout out as far as uh, me, the passing of my father as well. So um, just wanted to say that and uh, big success to you guys. And I, I wish you all nothing but the best. So let's see here. Let's see what I missed. If I could find the play button, then we will see what I missed. Let's see here. Wait, wait, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, on, I had the same reaction. I had the same reaction. I was, I was like, they're going to do it. Oh, they really got me with that false finish. They got me. <laughs> These guys are awesome. <laughs> Oh, that boy almost lost it. What's good, y'all? It's Will Ross back again with another video. Oh, I hope you're feeling better, Shout man. Shout out to everyone that was part of the Monday Night Raw live stream. You guys always make the show better. If you guys were watching this stream... Hey, stay away from that hot chicken, too, because that happened to me before I ordered something from there, and they gave me the wrong sauce. And the place that I ordered from, they actually closed down. I've seen that as a common theme around this area. I'm not sure how it is by you. But they pop up, they open for like a year or two, and then they're they're done. They close down. But that did happen to me before, so I hope you're feeling better. Y'all know I don't really feel too well right now. Yeah. Kind of under the weather, um, and I was feeling bad during the actual stream itself. Uh, but I had to come on here to talk my shit. Oh Everybody no! Everybody, oh I'm no! On the Jinder Mahal train. I'm on Jinder the train. Mahal I'm sorry. Hype train. All y'all thought. <laughs> Jinder Mahal was going to win that match tonight against Seth Rollins in the main event. How you feel? <laughs> Is the gender hype train over now? I hope not. Can we move past the gender hype train? No, we got to stay here. To else? I don't know. The match itself, it was okay. Like that music? It's not a match I'm going to ever remember. Oh. Does it feel like it was uh, a main event match? The social media aspect made it feel like it was a, a main event match. For sure. But on paper, it still didn't feel like a main event match. Aww. It didn't matter that he had his uh, his uh, homies out there with him. The whole situation with uh, Damian Priest being out there, I think they kind of took their hand on that one. Him being out there towards the beginning of the match and sitting at ringside, I think that was a little bit too heavy-handed. I okay. think you should have pulled him out towards like the ending of the match when things are starting to go awry and then you could have pulled out drew mcintyre because you kind of take everything from the actual match for Literally, sure people are focusing on the match but people are also worried what's damian priest gonna do so i think for sure and i said the same thing in a video that i was like okay well damian's out there so obviously something is gonna happen Obviously, some sort of shenanigans or something is going to happen. Uh, so that was in the back of my mind. So I do agree with what uh, Ross is saying here. 
Um, that was in the back of my mind, you know, pretty much the entire time because he's sitting there at ringside. And for me, I didn't look at it as one of those appearances where, hey, I just want to remind you I'm still here type of appearances. Like I knew some something was going to happen because, well, it's WWE. Of course, something's going to happen. But having him out there at the beginning of the match wasn't really the best move. That moment where, where they were all laying, where uh, Gender and Seth were laid out. That would have been a great opportunity to bring out Damian Priest and then have Drew meet him and then have everything transpire how it did. Uh, but that would have been a, a really good opportunity. Would have been better to not have him seen there until he was like right about to cash in. Yeah. So that's the only thing I probably would have did differently. Um, the match itself was okay. It, it wasn't anything like I said that I'm gonna go back. No, gotta watch this Jinder Mahal match. No, <laughs> not. Um, towards the end, they picked up with the heel shenanigans, and there was a good false finish that literally almost ha made my heart drop. That was a great false finish. There was finish. a false finish that involved uh, one of Jinder's uh, uh, cronies picking up the Money in the Bank briefcase while the referee was distract uh, distracted. And this is after Drew and uh, Damian Priest get into it. So they're fighting to the back. And then he hits Seth Rollins with the Money in the Bank briefcase. And then uh, Gender, I believe he hits him with his uh, finisher. And I'm like, wait a minute. No. Wait, no, 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 no. I, at that moment, I thought it was over. Yeah. I me legit too. thought that was a good false finish. I'll give Great him that. false finish. But he kicked out. And once he kicked out of that, then I was like, oh, it's over. And of course, the referee is distracted. He throws Gender's cronies out. And that's when Seth Rollins did the stomp for the one, two, three. And that was it. Like I said, the hype for this match was more entertaining than the actual match it was, uh, the actual main event. I didn't really care. I, I thought there was a lot better matches on this card for sure than what we saw. Hell, the DIY match, that tag team match. It was a good match. It was really pretty good. I, I enjoyed that uh, that tag team match. Which the crowd was a little was more alive like before the, the match, but they did a good job at getting them, getting them amped up. This is awesome shit. And, you know, so I, I will say... It was an okay match. It wasn't. It wasn't trash. I'm not gonna trash it. It was okay, but it's not something I'm gonna remember. To be honest with you, and that's because I just don't care about Gender's character. I've never cared about his character because WWE's never really cared about his character. Not much, really. That's a good point. So, that's a good point. Comment down below. That's a good point. They, um, yeah, WWE. I wish they would take him a little more seriously because I think he has the look. Um, He's got the height, he's got the look, he's got a great theme song that people could really get behind, and I don't know, I just wish that they would have built him up differently. There's still time, for sure. I think they can even go somewhere with this and build him up. I don't. I hope that they don't, they just, you know, send him to NXT and he's just done, you know. I hope they kind of build off of this, because this was, uh, this was an opportunity, you know, to really, to show out there. I think he did all right. I, I don't, I think he did all right, you know, um... It was a great show, and I would I would love to see more of them for sure. But you know, um, I everybody has a different opinion on it, so it's been really interesting to hear uh, just people's different takes on this this issue here. Let me know how y'all felt about that match. Did y'all enjoy that match? Did y'all uh, think the match was a for whatever reason a five star classic, or <laughs> did y'all think that match was kind of mid, or did you think the match was awful? Um, also, where do you think they go with Seth Rollins? I hope it's not another rematch with gender. God, no. But where do you think they go with Seth Rollins going into the Royal Rumble? What match does he have with someone that people may care about? Because honestly, they only have one week left. So I don't know. Maybe it is gender again. And if so, good God, no. no. But we'll see. Y'all let me know. Don't hinder him. It, but I'm about to go lay down, man. I know my video is not normally this short, but I'm just not feeling the best. Uh... If I'm feeling well tomorrow, I will try to get y'all some more content tomorrow. Um, so be on the lookout for that. But I appreciate all the love and support. Road to 150K. And I'm still going to be the YouTube wrestling champion of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking it with me. See you on the next one. Peace. Well, let me go ahead and give that video a like. And uh, yeah, man, just wanted to check out your opinion and, and see, you know, I was like I was saying, I was kind of in and out of the stream. I'm trying to film some of my own content there uh, at the end, so I missed this particular part, but it was great to hear your opinion. I hope you feel better, man. I know it's uh, 
probably cold down there in Texas. It's cold up here in Chicago as well. It was like negative. They said it felt like negative 21 degrees earlier, and then uh, it was negative 18 when I cut out of the stream. It feels like, and that's that's really what matters. But yeah, man, hope you feel better and uh, appreciate the opportunity to listen to your opinion. I'll see all of my viewers next time. I will see you guys next time. Hurry up.